Hey everyone, this is uh, Dekuzor. Today I'm gonna be uh, talking a little bit over some B-roll footage of uh, the Aquamarine, which is done, by the way. I'm not adding anything else to this build. I just wanted to uh, go over some benchmarks that I've been performing on it just to make sure it's all working mostly okay. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. So right about now, I'm gonna be putting up the benchmarks for the uh, CPU core, it's a Intel Core i7 6700K uh, processor with uh, all cores overclocked, but um, two of the cores are overclocked a bit higher. I think it's all, it's like 47, 47, 48, 48. Um, not in that order, obviously. Um, and so it's running, I think I already said this, but running at 4.01 gigahertz. Um, I did a Cinebench R15. So the release 15 uh, CPU test, um, a pretty decent score, as you can see. Um, an Intel burn test um, as well to make sure that uh, it was again performing, and uh, it was doing 131.6 uh, uh, GFLOPs on average, and. Uh, about 6.8 seconds per test on average, so not the best overclock in the world, but you know it's it's higher than stock speeds, and it, the thing is lightning fast anyway. So I'm not too super worried. It's not like I'm running um, particularly CPU intensive processes other than encoding. And even then. Um, even then, this is pretty overkill for the kind of encoding that I do at, like, what, 1440p usually at most. Uh, yeah. Um, I do have some temperatures here. The highest was, uh, 25 degrees Celsius with a low average of 22 degrees Celsius. This is on, um, idle. Uh, under 100% load, it was at 78 degrees Celsius, which is a lot higher than I felt comfortable with, but it's realistically never going to see that. And uh, 73 degrees Celsius uh, while under load as the lowest. Uh, yeah. Now I'm going to switch over to some uh, GPU benchmarks. Uh, I'm running in Sapphire implementation of the reference R9 Fury X from AMD. Uh, this is not overclocked at all. And without overclocking, it was running Cinebench R15's OpenGL test at 170.12 FPS. Uh, I did do a 3D Fire Strike Ultra, which is, um, it performed well in the regular test, but the combined test, it did not perform well overall, um, with only managing 10 FPS. Uh, to be fair, it's doing a virtual resolution of 4K, uh, for that test, and I'm already rendering across two monitors anyway. Um, I'm also doing a 3D Fire Strike regular, which, again, didn't do as well in the combined test at 30 FPS. I also did the Heaven Benchmark 4.0. Uh, I was averaging 50.1 frames per second, which isn't bad, but the minimum FPS was this little hiccup that it did for a very short time at 8.3 uh, FPS. Um, once again, uh, the settings run were basically the stock settings for the uh, Cinebench uh, and the 3D Fire Strike stuff. Um, there was no tinkering with any uh, of the tests, um, but the Heaven benchmark, because it allowed settings, um, I did Direct 3D 11 as the renderer. Uh, I hit the desk. I'm <laughs> sorry. Uh, I did uh, Mode 8 anti-aliasing. Uh, 8 times. Sorry, Mode 8 times anti-aliasing. Um, it was run on full screen, obviously. Uh, with the ultra quality, so all the textures and everything bumped up uh, with tessellation set to moderate because I know for a fact that most GPUs do not handle tessellation very well, um, with some exceptions. Um, again, both of these, uh, all these benchmarks were run with both of my monitors on. Uh, they weren't really running any background processes other than what comes booted up at the startup time, which isn't much, it's not a heavy, a heavy load at all. But that's still rendering um, a 2650 by 1440p monitor at 144 hertz on the test, 
and then on the other side it's not really running anything on the monitor but there are pixels being displayed at 60 uh, times per second uh, across a 3440 by 1440p monitor which is a ultra wide IPS panel so yeah it was not the um, best scenario for this to really show its uh, performance it does perform very well in most games though but on the other hand th the tests were the same across the board so it's not like I was giving an unfair advantage to a single um, test or whatever this is just how my performance would be under these extreme conditions well, I'm coming to the end of the video so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I'm sorry for talking your ears off later <laughs>